So one of my favorite sponsors I have for this channel is a company called KNF Concept. Now I have to admit they have made some amazing products and we have reviewed some of their amazing products on this channel as well. If you check on the cards there, there'll be a list of five videos which I've done in the past for KF Concept. Now, most of the videos I have done for them has been uh, about their tripods. Now, every tripod I use on this channel, as well as my photography, is from KF Concept. Because of the security, they're safe, they're secure, they're versatile. I can move them and I can adjust them to however I want the picture to look. And for me, that's a big thing. Before I had KF Concept tripods, when I was using other conventional tripods, there was always something they were missing, there was something they didn't have. And with KF Concept, I seem to have found that everything I try to go in their direction, I managed to fix it. So today we're looking at another one of their tripods. So guys, here we have it. We have yet again another product from KF Concept. And I have to admit, all of their products I've used in the past are yet to fail me. They really are incredible. All of the tripods I'm using right now to record this video, hence one for the camera, the one for the microphone to my right, and also the lights above, they are all supplied by KF Concept. And I'm yet to have an issue with them, and I doubt I will ever. So just to start off on the outside, this is the carry bag that the tripod uh, is in. We have the nice rubber logo going on there for the KF concept, especially with the bag itself being extremely strong. And then we do have some uh, right, uh, light reflecting strips there. If you are traveling in the dark, taking some amazing photos and all that good stuff, if you do come across anyone in the car or anything, they can track you there. So we do have the nice strong carry hang handle on the top, but then we also have two clips on the bottom, which is there is a carrying strap inside the bag. Uh, which we can take a look at as well. But first of all, what we're going to do is get this unboxed, well, unbagged, and we'll go from there. So, like I said, we do get the carry strap as well that will attach onto the side of the bag, making life a lot easier for you. You get an Allen key for the tripod as well for when it, uh, if it starts coming loose, and then we also get a small little instruction manual, and we're good to go. So. This is what we are looking at. This is the tripod. Now, I've done a few of their tripods in the past, um, and I have to admit, they really are incredible. I have to say they are incredible, not just because I work for the company, just everything about them I enjoy. And there's only a few things that I've ever said where it's be like, hmm, I'd like this, I'd like that, I'd like this. But I have to admit, this is one of their standard size uh, tripods, and it's got a few accessories that I really do like on it. So first of all, we'll start off on the bottom. So. As we can see on the bottom there, we do have a few little spikes going on here. This allows you that if you are working on an uneven surface or uneven plane, this allows you to get in deeply and allows you to dig into the ground. The feet are completely adjustable where you can move the feet in and out, in and out, as well as the spikes. The spikes are completely adjustable as well. So you can move then. So no matter what sort of plane you are on, you're not going to struggle. Now, compared to the last time we reviewed one of their tripods, um, they have changed one thing which I do enjoy, which is the clips. Now, normally they go for more of a rotation clip, but this time they've went for more of a just a pull and a snap, which still is an amazing clip and it's extremely convenient. I just have to say that from the other ones I've reviewed, they did more of a twist and pull. More kind of like this design here where you would twist it and then the leg would come out. But they've changed it up on this tripod and they've went for more of a just latch. And it's, it, it is extremely convenient. It's very quick and it's very easy and I do enjoy it. So with the tripod like this, we can see the little latch here. Like in the fact that they stick with the black and orange theme, I really do enjoy it. But they've also even done the KF Concept logo on the little trigger. Now this is a securing trigger. So when your legs are mounted at this position, the only way to actually get them out is to move it down, click it down. They are spring loaded. So click it down and then the leg can go up to the next one and then it locks in place and it's not going anywhere. So that's one thing I've always liked about KF Concept. So now I know if I'm well, when I do put a 15, you know, a, a few thousand pound camera on this, I'm not going to have to worry about it collapsing. So like I said, this is KF Concept tripod and this is the KF-28 version and I really do enjoy it. So we're going to take a look at the actual head of this tripod because they really are incredible. So all these tripod heads do come off, you know, they are interchangeable and all that good stuff with all of KF Concepts um, tripod heads. 
So we're going to take a look at this one. So we do have uh, the conventional number panel at the bottom. So we've got zero at the 360. Simple as that. Take a tally of where you were. And then as you're doing a shot, you know where you've started and you know where you want to end. So I've always liked that. Just, it, it really is the little things with KF Concept that I do enjoy. Now, the one thing they have changed about the ball head compared to some of the other ones is the actual trigger handle to loosen it. Normally, it would be one long screw that would go through. But this time, it is literally just a bite and latch. So it's just one turn to loosen it and then one turn to tighten it that i do like it makes it a lot easier especially if you need to quickly change your shot if you're doing a video recording you know you don't have to worry about threads or anything like that it's already set up and all you need to do is a slight little turn on that handle quickly change it around and then tighten it back up that i do like allows for more security and i'm knowing that the camera that is sat on top of this tripod is going to be safe and the build quality alone is absolutely incredible the head of the tripod itself does weigh quite a lot, so we know that it's made out of genuine metals, it's not plastic, it's not cheap, and every dial has its place. So top of the tripod head, which would be for the mount um, mountain plate here, we do have some other uh, measurements going on here from 0 to 10, 0 to 10, uh, as well as the spirit level, so we know when things are going to be level, which that also I do like. And then just the bracket on the side. The bolt in the center, which the Allen key they do su uh, supply, can be moved vice versa, depending if you've got a certain shot you want to do. So you can take this out and change it to one of the other ones if that's what you need. Now, this I do like. So this is the carrying plate that's going to sit on the bottom of your camera, which is then going to sit on the ball head. This one I do like for several reasons. So for one, they've added more rubber padding on here, so you know fine well the bottom of your camera is going to be safe as well as the KF Concept logo and the little dodge line, which is going to sit, obviously, on this little barcode here. Or barcode, this little number tally here. But the one thing I do like is the screw in the center. They've actually made it now so it can move from side to side, which I do like. So when my camera is installed, if I just loosen it and I need to move it a little bit, I can just go whoop and then tighten it back down. And that, for some reason, that I really do enjoy. Um, it really is the little things for me. You know, I don't ask for a lot when it comes to tripods and all that good stuff but this i do enjoy most of kf concepts tripods will come with one of the legs with a padded foam arm and obviously a little lockable nut here and this is so we can have this as a monopole now i don't personally use a monopole when i do photography but i know a lot of people out there do so what this allows you to do is actually take this arm off and you just have one pole it still allows you to have the three leg function you know to fully extend the legs and everything and this allows you, so on the bottom of the tripod, we also have this one. If I unscrew that, it's like this tripod is pretty much a transformer when it comes to the photography world. It really is. So all you have to do is unscrew the bottom of the tripod, take off the rubber foot, unscrew this portion of the tripod, and just simply slide that out. This part of the tripod, now you don't actually need it anymore. So I'm going to fold that down and put that to one side. And then what we can do is on this side of the tripod is actually connect these two parts together. So they just connect together as simple as that. And then on the top here, what you can do is just put your ball head back on. And there we go. So there's your monopole. So we just have one single pole going all the way across. But the good thing with this is if you do need to get, you know, those extra long or extra big shots, we can also extend it out this way. So we do have extra extension going on there. Or... On the legs itself mind i am doing this in my studio so i don't have much room or if you need even more space you have that as well so we can just keep going and going and going so size is never going to be an issue when it comes to this tripod you have more than enough size to do all of the all of the photography things that you actually physically need so there we go guys that was the tripod from kf concept and that was the kf dash uh, 2 8 tripod and I have to admit, I haven't looked at one of these yet, but I'm very glad that I have. If I had to pick one thing that I really did like about this one, it would definitely be the feet on the bottom. Like we went through before, they do have the more pointed feet now. So when I'm taking photos or doing videos on uneven, uneven terrain, these are going to help massively to allow my tripod to be that extra secure. So I'm not going to have to worry about my camera getting damaged, falling over or anything like that. That's definitely one of the main things I do like about this. The monopole feature I do like. I don't use monopole features as much as I probably should. Um, every tripod that I've got from KF Concept does have the removable arm, which does allow you to turn it into a monopole, which I do really like. 
but I have to admit, if you are looking to improve your photography game and allowing you to be much more safe and secure when you are out there and about, head down the links in the description. There'll be a link there dedicated to their website as well as this tripod. So I do urge you to go check them out. I am going to be doing another video in the upcoming weeks of what this looks like outside. Just at the moment, I can't be doing it. So it's definitely going to have to go from there. When it came through the specifications, if you do look through there, I did I did show you the sizes of what this can actually extend to. And it is phenomenal. So you have a full versatile of when it comes to one of these tripods. So I urge you go down the links in the, trip, uh, in the description, check them out. If you do end up getting one or some of the other products and you have any questions, just drop down the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. Thank you.